Okay, given a quadratic equation, we're trying to solve this one. And this one you can't factor, so we're actually going to use quadratic equation minus b plus minus b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. Okay, I always tell my students before you start, just to take one second, take all the coefficient down. It's so much easier because um, under time pressure or under test pressure, um, you, know, you just never know. If you substitute the wrong number, you lose all the points anyway. Okay, so slow down. X is equal to minus b, so minus, minus 6, okay, which is positive 6, plus minus b squared is 36, because it's minus 6 squared, minus 4ac. I tell my students, just write it down, minus 4 times 2 times 3. Okay, It won't take you too much longer, but it's you increase your chance of... Um, getting this correct much better. Now let's go on to the next one, 6 plus minus, so on the side we have 36 minus, uh, this is a 12, 28, which is uh, 24. Okay, so we have 24. Let's make sure, 4ac, this is 8, that's 24, and this is 6 squared, so this is a 2, or 12. Okay, and divided by 4 over here. Let's make sure I copy it right. It's 2x squared minus 6x plus 3, and um, 20, 36 minus 24, so I have a 3. Okay, all right. And then radical of 12 is equal to radical 3 times 4, and 4 is a perfect square, so we can actually reduce it into 2 radical 3, all right? Let's put it back in here. 6 plus minus 2 radical 3 divided by 4. Now, on this step, a lot of students recognize there's a common factor there. Um, so the question becomes, well, do you cancel 2 here? Do you cancel 2 here? Do you do both of them? If that's the question you're asking, then I'm saying, just do one more step. Here's what you do. Here's the step you do, one extra. Pull the 2 out. You get a 3 plus minus 3 divided by 4. From here, it's pretty easy to follow. There's no chance of you making a mistake here. So now so there's 2 over here, and then we have 3 plus radical 3, okay, divided by 2. Here's your answer, and have a confident day.